The situation with my brother Evan is that he's been a troubled child for 18 years. We were both adopted and we went through a lot in our childhood. I worked very hard to try and kind of like rise from the ashes of my childhood and he was very aggressive. It was kind of like a reminder that I was kind of stuck in the past. He's a very rebellious child. He doesn't follow rules. He doesn't really care about consequences. He's taken my cash, my credit card, my debit card, jewelry, and things like that. As he is so impulsive and doesn't think about his decisions. Lexi is to the point where she doesn't even want to come home from college because of all the stress that's happening in the home. I was always nervous to bring friends over. He was just inappropriate. He would always like ask for their numbers and then text them and it just got very awkward. Evan does not respect my mom at all. He talks back to her, he gives her attitude. I get frustrated at y'all and like we argue sometimes. The situation is chaotic and it does need to change. If he doesn't get his act together, he could seriously harm himself or be incarcerated. Lexi, thank you for being here. Uh, you say that your brother manipulates everybody around him. Why do you, why do you say that? He kind of like makes other people feel amazing and great and then he treats his family like crap. Do, do you believe these people really care about you, these three? Yes. What do you remember about the eight years before you were adopted by them? I don't remember as much as I used to. Do you recall being abused when you were younger? I do recall some. Uh, one incident, yes. Um, I was in uh, my biological mom's kitchen and she had taken all the food out of the kitchen and um, told me to stay in the kitchen. It was weird, but she had locked me in there. Um, and the only place that I could be in was in the kitchen. And so I decided to break open the door with my hands. I uh, ended up um, cutting my arm uh, severely. And I have a scar from that now. So every time I look at my hand, I'm, like, I'm always thinking about that. And when you think about that, where you, you had people that brought you into this world, didn't protect you, didn't nurture you, love you, accept you, what do you say to yourself about that? I mean, who wouldn't love their own child? I ever, even thinking about that, it, it, makes, it makes me, in like my insides, it makes me feel like very nervous and uh, uptight. Lexi, you've been able to accommodate to, work through, find ways to deal with trauma yeah. that you've experienced. How have you done that? I've worked very hard. <laughs> um, I experienced a lot of trauma and I actually remember a good amount of it. I still do. I can still think of many instances right now of things that happened to me as a child, but I do not allow the ten, first 10 years to define who I am in my life, mm -hmm. and I refuse to. And I feel like he just keeps allowing that to define who he is 